We are joined now by Mackenzie Mack, Regional Director at the Tennessee Golf Foundation, based here in Memphis. And Mackenzie, yes. how are you hoping to see youth golf continue to evolve here in the city of Memphis? I'm looking to just involve the community and get people to the golf course because I haven't met one person that has come to the golf course and they don't like it. So I just plan to have some fun community events there to get people there and just show them the love and, and the love of the game. And for a community like Memphis where local junior golf is still continuing to evolve, you have things like drive, chip, and putt, which I know the local qualifiers are coming up here in June. What can people expect who want to take part in that coming up here? They can expect a good time. The drive, chip, and putt is a lot of fun, and it's a qualifier to go to the Masters. Who doesn't want to go to the Masters and, and enjoy that atmosphere? So the kids will come. It's a completely free event. So anybody that wants to try can come out and just give it a, a try. What's the hurt in trying? So they'll get to hit three drives, hit three chips, and three putts. What's the hurt in trying? I mean, you do get to go to the Masters. Exactly. This is the biggest week in you golf going on right now. You can't win if you don't play. You can't win if you don't play, and you can't play if you don't get out to the course exactly. and give it a try. What's kind of your spiel to kids maybe and parents of kids who are on the fence about getting them involved in the sport? What would you say to inspire them to get out there and give it a try? I say just do it. I've played golf my whole life. I was a first tee kid, and it's given me free scholarship money to go to school. I've been able to travel the country, and I've met so many people in the game. So I think just recognizing the opportunity that the game can bring you is the reason to come out and try. And it's a lifetime sport. You can't play basketball all the time. You can't play football when you're 80. Golf, you can golf until you're 100. <laughs> well, you yourself, you just mentioned first tee, and I know that's something that you guys are looking to yes. kind of develop here in Memphis. Your plan is to do your official launch at the World Golf Championship at the FedEx St. Jude Invitational. Yes. What will that include? It'll include a clinic with um, some top professionals and some local celebrities and just sharing information about the fun events that we're going to have coming up for junior golfers. So I just tell everybody, Keep your eyes open. We have a lot of fun things planned for the junior golfers here in Memphis. And for people who aren't familiar with First Tee, explain what kind of opportunities that provides for kids in golf. So First Tee is a national organization with over 170 chapters worldwide. And our mission is to instill life skills into um, students through the game of golf. So it's not just golf. We teach them how to shake hands, resume building, um, respect. We have nine core values that we instill all of our kids and all of our programming. And so we're looking to bring that back here in Memphis. Well, thank you so very much, Mackenzie. We really appreciate you being thank here you. and good luck to you and your next endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.